Thursday the 22nd of June, 2023. First reading. Reading from the second book of Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if only you would put up with a little foolishness from me, please put up with me, for I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I betrothed you to one husband, to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that, as the serpent deceived you by his cunning, your thoughts may be corrupted from a sincere and pure commitment to Christ. For if someone comes and preaches another Jesus than the one we preach, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it well enough. For I think that I am not in any way inferior to these super apostles. Even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. In every way we have made this plain to you in all things. Did I make a mistake when I humbled myself so that you might be exalted? Because I preached the gospel of God to you without charge. I plundered other churches by accepting from them, in order to minister to you. And when I was with you and in need, I did not burden anyone. For the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my needs. So I refrained and will refrain from burdening you in any way. By the truth of Christ in me, this boast of mine shall not be silenced. In the regions of Achaia, and why? Because I do not love you. God knows I do. Responsorial Psalm Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. In the company and assembly of the just, great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. The works of his hands are faithful and just, sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia You have received a spirit of adoption as sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, Alleluia Gospel Reading from the book of Matthew Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Their Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Gospel of the Lord